we've got some news this week. We've got some big news this week. Um, been waiting a long time. We've been waiting a very long time to finally get some a information. Long, a long time. A long, long time. To get some sort of information about what's happening in, in the boxing world because uh, things have been a bit quiet over there. Very quiet. And um, finally, finally, we got some information this week that we're, we're guaranteed to be almost there <laughs> with, the, with um, Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua um, because they've now signed, they've now signed a two fight deal to fight each other this year at some point at a venue somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> what are we thinking of this? What are we thinking of this? Is this um is this is this is this is, is, this, is this what we've been waiting for yet? I'm gonna be honest. I, I'm a bit disappointed. I'm a bit disappointed that we didn't get a third Fury Wilder fight, if I'm gonna be completely honest. Like mm. we like we're supposed to get a third Fury and Wilder, Wilder fight. I don't understand what's what's happened. The first one was a draw. And obviously they must have they didn't even sign a two fight deal. Wilder gave him a am I right? No, maybe I'm not. No, I think it was. He gave him a rematch. He didn't yeah. have to. He didn't mm. have to give him the rematch. He gave him the because Fury didn't have any belts, did he? It was a draw. So he no, didn't no, have no, any... I was saying before before the first fight, Fury didn't have any belts, did no. he? No. Yeah, no, the ring, yeah. the ring, whatever. The oh, ring, yeah, the ring. Yeah. Mm. But, you know, so Wilder didn't have to give him a rematch. He gave him a rematch. He wins the rematch. Where's the rematch? Like, I don't understand. You're the champion. You've lost. Where's the rematch? I'm... Like, don't you, don't you remember what happened? He it was in the clause for him to activate, but he was moving mad scared, and and he personally didn't activate the rematch. He but, didn't. But he, he didn't no, but the way he was talking was like, "Is he's been done dirty or something?" Man, like, talk is cheap. Guy, man. Talk, talk is cheap. That guy, man. That guy's a fool, man. You know what? I've been, I've been, I've been in Wilder's corner the whole time for this year, but his talk is cheap now. Like as as Anthony Joshua said, like sign sign the deal then. Like if you really want it, sign the deal. I just think like. He's saying that he's still trying to fight it to get a deal back on. But, like, you, you had it in your contract clause to to arrange a fight by a certain date. You're telling me, oh, COVID, COVID was the problem. Nah, you, like, you sort out the contract and do it done. How have you let Tyson Fury sign the two-year deal? That for, me, so that, that, for me, says Wilder doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want to go back into the ring with Tyson anymore. And it's a I, damn shame. I, I wanted that, that third fight, and I think Fury the one, whatever. But... And then, okay, AJ Fury. It is what is in it. Now we've got AJ Fury. But listen, but Fury, Fury can Fury can say that. Listen, he didn't beat me. Or he didn't beat me in two in two in two, yeah, in but, two fights. Yeah, but it's not for him to say that in the sense that he didn't have the belt. Like he did, Wilder didn't have to beat him. Mm. He had to beat him, and he didn't do it the first time. Yeah, and then he died in the second time. So there should be a rematch for the champion. But anyway. That's yeah. I, I, I'm just a bit like that. That's a kind of, I mean, what, thinking like, what's going on? What's going on? And we got this obviously this fight because I wasn't expecting this. We could, we've heard it all, all over and over again. We're talking about this, talking about it. So mm. when it came, it was a bit like, oh, finally. But maybe with all the whole COVID and everything, I'm over it. I'm I'm so yes. over it. It's been long, isn't it? I'm not even <laughs> like, and maybe when it when the fight comes, I'll be mm. a bit more excited. I'm not excited. And maybe it's a fact of we can't even go and see it. There's gonna be no like no crowd, especially if it's gonna be in Saudi Arabia. Like mm. it's just something's really just been sapped out of the, the atmosphere um by it. Def but, but there's definitely listen, we've been talking about this fight for time. How many times have you gone Wembley and <coughs> asked the fans when is it is it is it now or this is it? That was like after Klitschko fights and that like, we're talking <laughs> uh, early on. We're talking early on. Is it now the time? All the fans was like it's got to be next. It's Fury AJ. It's got to be next. Has to be next. And everyone's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Gas goes up for two weeks. And then they both take another fight. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's been dragging on and on and on. And then you kind of, you have to respect Fury for saying, All right, cool. This is not happening. I want to go to Wilder and do my thing there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then he, and he's made it to here. He's made it to the fact that he is here. And now Fury, now AJ can't really go anywhere else. 
no. but AJ's talking as if he's ready. He's been ready anyway. He just needed to do it the right way. And obviously, the Andy Ruiz thing got in the way and had to yeah, get that back. Set back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he had to he had to take a year out to sort that out and get that back. Um, but yeah, we're here. And um, are you excited? Are talk- As right now, are you excited? <laughs> um, that's a no. I, I would say no. <laughs> I'm ready. Put that down. I'm ready. I'm ready for the fight now. I mean, I've been ready. Yeah, I've like... been ready. I've been <laughs> ready. I've had my coat uh, on. I've been waiting at the yeah. door. Your mum keeps yeah. going back inside. She keeps forgetting something. Like, I've been ready. The thing is, I don't want no excuse. I don't want no excuses at the end to be like, oh, it, it, it was too late. You know how like the Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather are. Oh, they no, fought too late. Yeah, they I, don't, fought. I don't think anyone can say that because what? I think both of them are pretty much in their prime. Well, I will say that, but it was what Fury's thirty? How old is he? It depends though, because at the end of the career is when you probably say, like, like, um, what's his name? No, they, um, they didn't say it? Yeah, AJ's thirty-one. Fury's thirty-two. Yeah. But I guess your prime is hard when you look at your prime because do you look at your prime as after you finished or during? Because I mean, David Hay, he the way he was talking was like he was in his prime to fight to fight uh, my man, um, um, Bellew. Bellew. And now he got he laid out. You think prime. you think actually no, nah, his prime was back then. But his if he prime won it, was after he beat like as it when when he was trying to get the Kisco fight and he won well, the Vladimir Kisco fight and he got the no he didn't get the Vladimir Kisco fight. Um, he beat he beat uh Valley Giant, Valley, yeah, Valley yeah. Valley, his name was yeah. And then the the the, the Vladimir Kisov site was probably his prime, yeah. And it just kind of showed that he just was not as good a heavyweight fighter as he was a cruiserweight. Mm. But, but but if he but if he cleaned out Bellew comfortably with two fights, could he could and then and then you know what I mean he, he that could have been even in his prime. You you, you could have been doing it. <laughs> I mean if he had done it, but I think the fact that he didn't. Kind of proved that it wasn't, and, and really and truly, the injuries, yeah, the Achilles, and that he wasn't his prime because his body just was finished at that point. His body had broken mm. down and didn't allow him to. But these two, well, they're similar age. Uh, AJ's had twenty five fights, Fury thirty one. So it's not even a case of like a Wilder. Wilder's yeah. been around for fifty odd fights, maybe even a bit yeah. more than that. Um, them two are on a similar, similar age, similar, like you might say, experience in terms of quality of fighters and yeah. etc. So. I think it's a perfect match. There can be no excuses, you know. And, and, and to be honest, I don't think anyone will. I don't think there'll be any. If whoever loses at the end of the first or second fight, I don't think there's going to be any excuses unless there's a figure. Are oh, the referee cheated? They counted and I was ready. Yeah. Or whatever, whatever. In terms mm. of fitness, ready, you know, readiness, etc. I don't think there can be any excuses, and I, I don't think they're going to give it. These these two are not fighters who I often hear excuses from. Yeah. Wilder, you get an excuse. AJ, I haven't heard any excuses from him. Fury, I mean, he hasn't lost, to be fair, but I haven't heard any excuses from him either. So mm. I think at the end of it, both of them are going to just have to hold whatever the outcome is, um, regardless. Yeah. Carl, do you think Tyson Fury, obviously, I don't think Tyson Fury's had a fight since COVID, has he? Since Wilder fight? Uh, no, think- no. No. So, do you think that was that's why? Obviously, AJ had the Pula fight, and it was a good slug. He had a good, you know, what I mean, got some good rounds in there. Do you think that's going to potentially play a part in the build up, or do you think they both should be coming in ready? No, I don't think so. I mean, I mean, for AJ, that was just pretty much like a, a sparring session, and obviously, these guys in training they get good sparring partners. I mean, I know it's not the same thing as a proper fight because obviously, in a proper fight, someone's really gunning for you, but hmm. when 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 you're playing up against that kind of quality of a of a boxer, I mean you're not you're not you're not really you're not really tested. Like to improve as a boxer in any in any sport and in, in, in any athlete, they will tell you for you to, to, to go beyond your limits, to better yourself, to to get to that next level, you have to be pushed, you have to be tested. Being able to just cruise throughout, you know, your your career and not be pushed and, and, and not be pushed. You never, you, you're never going to be able to better yourself. Mm. So, so like, I don't think that I don't think that AJ fight would play a part. I don't think it's going to mean that he's more ready than 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 Fury. But 
I'm in the same mindset as Neeks, man. Like this has this this has proper fizzled out, man. I think it's lost a lot. Of, I, think, I, I think it's lost a lot of excitement. Yeah, well done. Yeah, well done. There, they they finally got the fight on, but it's like, it's, it's, it's like they've waited so long that they've they've only played them. They've only played themselves. Yeah, you couldn't foresee COVID, but now COVID's here. You've only played yourself. You've taken so long to get here. When there was a massive hype for so many years for this fight to happen, people would have paid. Uh, an arm and a leg to go see the fight, and now you can't have mm. anyone to go see the fight. And uh, well, that's the thing. I, I think they'll still make a lot of money from it, um, because uh, especially they're going to go to Saudi Arabia, and I yeah. think now they can go to Saudi Arabia without anyone having a real issue with it, because it's like if you were in England, would you even have a crowd anyway? To be fair, now mm. you can get about ten thousand. Hopefully, by the time the fight comes around, but mm. it's like it's ten thousand. Well, maybe at Wembley. Uh, in if it was a normal, you know, no no COVID, it would be a complete aberration if this fight wasn't in Britain. Absolute aberration. At least one of the fights, the first fight had to be in Britain. If you wanted to take the second fight to Madison but, but, Gardens. But imagine how big the second fight could be if it's in Britain after we've had the first rumble in Saudi Arabia. Well they're now, saying that well they're saying that the second fight has might the two fight deal has to be might be before like by the end of this year. Mm. So that means we're talking about December if if uh, I, I'm gonna get a full crowd in Britain, I don't know if that's gonna happen. I don't know. It, it yeah. would be massive if we if we did. Mm. Um, but it's yeah, it's a shame, man. Because of course, yeah, you're gonna get your money. I think it's like five hundred million for the two fight deal, mm. Mm. and and the, you get fifty fifty split on the first fight, and the second fight, the winner gets sixty percent. So whoever loses over the two is laughing all the way to the bank anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. surely, as a as a fighter, you know, if you, if you're in it for the for the um the spectacle and, and the, the 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 sport yeah you want fans in the in the stadium when you're fighting yeah and i think they and, both do yeah of course yeah they, and they must do so yeah yeah i do agree they partly play themselves in the fact that it's going to be fought in front of a either either an empty stadium over here or a very mundane crowd over in saudi arabia but mm. their bank account ain't, ain't complaining at all and yeah. it's like the, the manny pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather, they drag it on so long, mm. but it was still like the highest pay per view ever. Five five million, I think it was, or something like that. Uh, pay per view uh, tickets, or whatever they call it. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be mega, but mm. maybe it's COVID. I'm just frustrated with life. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's probably very <laughs> Let me get out. This is some soaker, and I can uh, <laughs> maybe I'll get back in the spirit for it. Well, let's well, let's get to the nitty gritty now. What are we say, what are we saying, what are we saying? Like, who who's taking it? Who's taking it? Go on, Kyle. Well, <laughs> I generally, I generally believed if if they both come into this fight, how they left pre COVID. Obviously, it's hard to say because they've been out for a long time. No one's really been fighting for a long time. And all mm. they've really been doing is training. But there's only so much training can do. It can get your body fit and maybe you can last, you know, a couple of extra rounds because you've got, you know, built up stamina, built up fitness. But in terms of being fight ready, you just never know what you're going to get. But I'm saying if they come into this where they left off pre-COVID, I'm saying Fury takes the first fight. However, what we have seen is that from the Andy Ruiz fight that AJ had and he lost the first fight he's very capable of quickly learning and adapting to the opponent's strengths and the way they fight to come out in the second fight and play a different game plan to win the second fight so it's for me if Fury wins the first fight it's down to AJ to be to be able to to, to learn and adapt and for him and his team to figure out a game plan to beat Fury. I mean, I'm pretty sure they already know what's going to come out. Fury's going to come out and try to dominate. He's probably not going to try and win by a knockout. He's probably just going to try and win by points and he's going to try and control as many rounds as possible and say, you know, by was it the 12th round of 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 this match. So, mm. you know, does AJ try to outbox him in that regard? I mean, I don't think AJ personally has it in him to outbox Fury. No. If he if 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 he knows that he's going to be sitting back and Fury's going to be trying to control the fight, then you and your team maybe are going to have to try and work in trying to get in nice and early and putting him down. If, and if you can't get it, if you can't get it by the third or fourth round, the game plan changes to X, Y, Z, because if we can't get him down by X, Y, Z and he's controlling us, then we're going to have to try something else. But then, you know, by then it may be too late. 
Fury may have the first four rounds because what you tried failed and he, you know, he may be that far ahead on points. But for me personally, I think Fury takes the first fight. Nick, so you going for? Yeah, yeah, I think um, I think Fury takes the first fight personally. Uh, I think the way that he, oh, I know they're different fighters and, and AJ is a better boxer stylistically than than Wilder. Wilder's more of a swinger. Um, oh, than Wilder. I was going to say than Fury. <laughs> No, no, AJ is a better boxer than, than Wilder. So I'll say, you know, look, you look at the Wilder fight and the way that he just outboxed Wilder. You look at that and mm. you say, Joshua's never really outboxed someone in, in that way. You know, he's, mm. he's been a better boxer than a lot of people, most of the people that he's fought, to be honest. Um, mm. But he hasn't outboxed them so clinically. Like Fury mm. did in both fights. You know, we know that he got knocked down twice in the first fight, but he was outboxing him all throughout. And in the second mm. fight, it was clinical. He had a, um, had the power as well to to knock him out or TKO, whatever it was. So I think mm. I, I do have to give it to Fury if I'm basing it on everything that we've seen up to this point. We don't know how the break is going to affect everyone um, in terms of the training camps and the, kind of the, 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 the rustiness you might get from being out for so long, especially probably even more so for Fury because he hasn't fought at all. Whereas obviously um, AJ fought not too long ago. Mm-hmm. AJ is a slight a different boxer than he was before he lost to uh, Ruiz. Ruiz. And but I've also, what I've also seen from him is that in in the title fights, so like when he when, when he when he was fighting um, uh, Parker, he was mm. still a, controlled. Mm. It's like his main aim was to win the fight, not to get the knockout. But then in the because he was winning the belt from um from Parker in that one, I think it was the WBO. Yeah. But against Ruiz, I think he took it way too lightly, and man just like and, and when he smells blood, tend he tends to go in for the kill. And that's what mm. got him in that fight. He smelt he knocked him down, smelt blood, and Ruiz caught him and he was done after that. But now you see, like even the last fight against who did he fight? Pulev? Pulev, yeah. And even in the Povotkin uh Povotkin win one before that. He's got like he is he actually curbing his natural instinct where he's mm. going and going in and he, he, he's got them a few and he, you know he wants to just finish him finish them off but he's like he's it's like you remember that's not the plan let me step back let me go again and you're thinking mm. oh you could have knocked him out ages ago but he's just like no I need to win winning is the most important thing mm. so it's going to be interesting to see how he does that against someone who is going to be a bit harder to knock down than the, a lot of people he's come up against and also someone who is a better boxer than him. It's gonna mm. be. I think it's gonna be a very good boxing match in terms mm. of just like uh, quality and style of the of the boxing match. Um, but I think Fury is a better boxer, so I think he would win. What you always have to worry about, as we saw with Wilder, is their punch power. Obviously, mm. Wilder's got that one punch knockout that no one in in boxing has. But AJ is a big puncher as well. So if he catches Fury with a couple. Then he could win by knockout, but as it stands, I'm going, I'm going with Fury on points in the first fight. Second fight, we have to wait and see. Really, we have to wait and see what mm-hmm. happens in the first fight before we can even start talking about the second one. Yeah, I'll go yeah. with Fury, Fury on points for the first one. Yeah, I agree. I think stylistically, it makes a good fight. It just, it's not like two of the same. Sometimes you get two of the exact same boxes, and you get a very sort of not necessarily boring, but tactical, and it's just all about who can be the better of the better boxers. Whereas I think you've got two completely different styles. Um, even the wild, even even though AJ is more similar to Wilder, is very different as well. Um, mm-hmm. It doesn't it doesn't come with the it doesn't come with that one punch knockout. It doesn't come with the. I don't think he's got as much of a killer instinct as Wilder, even though he did have earlier on. Um, as you said, he sort of tamed it in just to be a bit more careful of getting mm-hmm. the getting the comeback, and I think. Whatever happens, the Ruiz fight is going to teach him that now going forward that be careful that you don't get too excited now uh, because you know they say you're most vulnerable when you're open and on the you know on the attack you can get the you can get the counter punch out of nowhere. Yeah. Um. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. I think that um. The I think it's it's a mental game this one. I think it's a mental one. And it will be about... I think Tyson Fury is going to do ed- every single thing in his power to get into the head of AJ as mm-hmm. much as he possibly can. He's going to be rifling up 
like press conferences, yeah. pre fights, like everything's gonna be more than we've ever seen before. <laughs> we saw a level Klitschko, we saw a level. Wilder it probably went even up, but I think this is gonna be the max. He's gonna do he's gonna try and rattle the cage of, and obviously remember AJ's presented to us as the nice guy, the lovely guy, the media friendly guy. You can't get to him. <laughs> um very, really troubled. Obviously got a little bit tetchy with um the guy he was supposed to fight when he had the, uh, the drugs thing. Oh, what's his name? That guy, he rattled him. He said something about his mum or something like that. Miller. Um, Miller, yeah, yeah, yeah. Miller, Miller got to his head. But usually he seems com- composed, doesn't let the fighters get into his head. Mm. Um, and it will be an interesting battle on the night as well. If he can, you know, Fury's going to come with the laughing at him and tongue out and all that. <laughs> and AJ's going to, AJ can give it in a fight. He can give all that as well. Mm. Um, and all about who wins the mental battle. For me, I'm going to put my heart where my mouth is and I'm going to say AJ. I hope you're say, right, in it. I hope you're right. <laughs> I, I really do hope that AJ. Not I, just, that. I just wanted to win. I just wanted to win so bad. Okay, okay, like, but what, does your, what does your head say? What, 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 sensibly, what there's is no it? Head. There's no head. It's heart, head. It's heart. Heart is there. My heart is there and hair. There's no <laughs> head in this. This is all heart. I'm just pure heart. This isn't this ain't Arsenal anymore because there's, I, can, I believe he can do it. It's not like I'm not saying it in a case of I think Fury is so much better that there's no, he's got, he's got no chance. There's a, there's a, there's a chance he can do it. And everyone tells me that Fury's a better boxer and he's gonna outbox him and it's gonna be Fury, Fury, Fury. So I'm just gonna start the, I'm starting to fight back. I'm saying, well, cool. Let him, let's see what happens, innit? But I'm backing AJ to, to knock him out. Uh, like, and and I'm, I'm desperate for it. I, like, we'll see what happens. In the, we'll do obviously more. Yeah. more predictions towards the fight. It's so early on now, we don't know what's happening. I like the way AJ looked against Pulev. It looked like it was controlled. He went nine rounds as well, so it wasn't like an easy one-round knockout and you move on. Although it could have been early on, but he let. I feel like he wanted the rounds in. He wanted mm. to get a bit more fitness in and um, do his job properly. And I feel like there's a chance it could play into the fact that Fury hasn't had a fight. I just hope he doesn't use it as an excuse because he had, he had time to get a fight. Yeah, he's had yeah. time. He, did, he didn't do one. So, yeah, man. Um, yeah, I'm going. I'm going for AJ. But yeah, I, I just hope it's a good fight. I hope it's not a, a bad, like a like a like a like a like a boring slog, and it's a split decision or something like that. Because I mean, ugh, yeah. Well, what is it? We're, 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 we're guaranteed two fights at least in it. So yeah. I, I, at least one. At least one of them would be a good fight. At mm. least one of them, I'm sure. Is the fight is the fight a deal uh, guaranteed one after the other or is it just two fights? Yeah, at some yeah, point? No, it's actually one after the other because of course if you lose the next one then you lose your belts to whoever you've um it's an undisputed two two deal fight because if, if say you say say AJ beats him and AJ fights Dylan White next and loses, yeah when he yeah, fights yeah, Fury yeah, again, yeah. he's lost the yeah. belts. So it's yeah, undisputed. Yeah, yeah. So at the end of the second fight would have an undisputed champion. Which but, I mean so he's heavyweight boxing fight, needs. Fight, but like if Fury beats AJ in the first fight, is he is he not that current undisputed champion until the next one? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Whoever wins the first fight is the undisputed champion. But I'm saying by the yeah. end of the second fight, we've got an undisputed champion. Yeah. As well. Yeah. Um, I think I'm I'm just glad that we finally got all the belts going to be in one hand. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. unless we get two draws or something like that. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, please, no. Please, no. no we need. That, a... I mean, how, I don't know how long it's been split apart. And sometimes it's just uh, since, since it, Lennox. Man. Is it Lennox? Lennox? Lennox was the last undisputed champion. Mm. I don't think, yeah, because um, because remember the Cliscos, one Clisco had won the belts, didn't yeah, he? yeah, Vitali, and they were yeah. never going to fight each other. Uh, yeah. the brothers. Mm. So what? And what's his name? Um, Hay was trying to un to unify the belts. Yeah, yeah. So he fought Pulev and got that belt. I can't remember which one it was now. It might be the WBO. I think it might be in the old WBC. Because who had the WBA? Definitely Klitschko had WBA. At what point? When when Hay fought value? When Hay fought. When Hay, when Hay fought Klitschko. Wait, when, when Klitschko won beat Hay, did he... No, I'm trying to think. When Klitschko beat Hay, he wasn't undisputed, no, because no, no, no. he still had the other one. Yeah, he never went undisputed. Yeah. Um, still had a belt. So, yeah, I think, yeah, Lennox is the last Lennox, undisputed yeah. champion. Mm. So yeah, be, I mean, I think we're at, the, we're at the era now where we need we, it'll be good to have one, just to say, right, cool. <coughs> we're sort of, we're at the sort of top top game, and we've got one now, and then we can go from there to say whatever. I think it's right it. because this is the best era of heavyweight boxing since yeah. Lennox Lewis. Yeah. 
So yeah. you want to crown the best yeah. era, era was it, with an undisputed champion. So exactly. after all after all is said and done, you know, you got the Dillian White, the Chisora, the David mm. Hayes, the come and gone, and then mm. you got, got Deontay Wilder, uh, Tyson Fury, um, uh, Anthony Joshua. When all is said and done, who was the best? Mm. And these two fights that will decide who was the best. The history books will show it. Yeah. So we'll see in it. We'll see what happens. Obviously, we've got Dillian White fighting um, Povetkin coming up as well in the rematch. That's a, um, is that a WBC eliminator? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think the first one was as well, but there was a rematch clause. So, yeah, I guess it still is. So, yeah, that will be on. I guess they have to wait because they've got a, they've got a two fight. Um, no, they can they can still they can fight that, but it just means that it's eliminator. So whoever wins that, then they get a shot at. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, but if so, whoever no, wins that has yeah, to wait yeah, for the wait, has yeah, to wait for these two fights. Fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean, yeah. <coughs> I mean, it'll be interesting to like say, for example, Dillian White wins, and then he goes to fight Wilder and then loses, but he's still the DC. He's still the he's still got a chance. He's still got the next fight is still going to be against uh, uh, whoever's undisputed. Yeah. <laughs> so, because I guess your WBC eliminator is going to be against the undisputed champion. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll see in it. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, we'll leave it there. We'll definitely be revisiting this soon as more as we get more information. Um, make sure you check out Neek Sports for any updates about um, yeah when the fights get scheduled um, and um, yeah what. Uh, what kind of fight we'll be we'll be we'll be getting into um guys that are watching make sure you smash that like button uh, and subscribe to neat sports um hit that follow button if you're listening to us on any of the audio p- platforms on all the podcasts um i've been ramsey this has been neat sports and we are out of here <laughs>